have absolutely no stress in your life, then honestly, this story really isn't for you. You're still here, aren't you? The stress relief method we're about to show you takes place in a church, but we stress it is not part of any organized religion. Now keep an open mind, this could be the peace you seek. Put the pine stuff? Yeah. If you want to compare stress levels at work, Fred Bliffert can match you both two by four by two by four. You can never sit down for three minutes to work on one thing. As the owner of a handful of neighborhood hardware and lumber stores, Lifford feels the pressure everywhere. <laughs> His laid-back demeanor belies the gazillion fires he must put out each day, and we're about to learn one of his relaxation secrets. So kirtan is a kind of music experience that comes from India. This is a kirtan, and the woman in the center of all the action goes simply by the name Ragini. It's the language of vibration is what we're going to sing in tonight. It's really just the sound of the words. They're going to give you the experience. For the next two hours, those open to the experience will sing along to get along. We'll call it out and you'll call it back. The words above them in Sanskrit. The chants start slow. Almost painstakingly so as Kirtan newbies might be wondering what they've gotten themselves into. But as the tempo of the music quickens and the chants become more comfortable than complicated, people report feeling a sense of vibration and relaxation that is clearly better felt than explained. Sounds a bit odd, doesn't it? No one knows that better than Ragini herself, who by day is a successful acupuncturist. Her voice may be soothing, but it's her self-deprecating sense of humor that helps win over the skeptics. What the hell was that the other night? <laughs> what the hell was that? Yeah. Yeah. There's something about the music this back and forth that allows people to quiet the mind. So who comes to these kirtans? We met lawyers, school cafeteria workers, barbers, people with very mainstream jobs who were willing to try something new to them, but something that's actually very, very old. I don't feel like I want to sell it to anybody. I know it's not for everybody. There's some people that will come and it's like, oh, well, whatever, no big deal. But I feel like whoever comes, they'll experience something. Fred Blifford experienced something the first time he came. Now he's one of the musicians who plays alongside Rogany. We don't really rehearse, but we've been doing this for so long and, and the musicians are so attuned to one another that this really works out well. And we never play the same song twice. It's, it's always different. So, Bhajamanaram, Bhajasitaram, Bhajasatya Hariram. Born and raised in the Midwest, Ragini, a name she adopted after visiting India, performed her first kirtan as a teenager. Bhajamanaram, Bhajasitaram. After moving to Milwaukee, she started holding one on the first Friday of every month. At first, only a handful of people showed up. Now, more than 300 do. There's something that happens when we sing, and everybody in a large room is doing it together. There's something that shifts. It's like a heartfelt energy, and it's palpable. The minute she starts talking, the calmness of her voice, and then she breaks into these jokes, I was like immediately set at ease. I got that energy, that spirit of that kid that I can do anything now. Well, this is kind of weird what we're doing. It feels kind of odd to be sitting, chanting, and, and yet it's, it offers something. So sit through it and see. If it bugs you, you can leave and you know we'll lock the door and we won't let you in next time. <laughs> to 
Learn more about the Kirtan scene in Milwaukee and when you can try one out. If you're so interested, you can check out Rogany's website, which we have linked to fox6now.com. Now, I know you were there to cover the story, but right. did you feel what other people report feeling? Remember in journalism school when they say when the circus comes to town, don't ride the elephant? You know, <laughs> I, I was sort of in the back just watching, taking notes. But they do give you one of these things to, to take along with. Uh -huh. And I went in with a terrible pounding headache that day, almost mm -hmm. a migraine, and left without one. Now. Did that cause an effect? I don't know. But I could see why people would get into it. You've got to keep an open mind. Mm -hmm. Some people watch this and go, it's not for me. Great, then don't go. But if you are looking for a way to reduce stress, the people we talked to say it was very effective mm -hmm. in reducing their stress levels. I thought it was pretty cool. I felt it just by watching it. Yeah, I had no it. idea what I was saying. But, yeah. you know. And you're going to lead class tomorrow here uh, at no. Fox 6. <laughs> I'm not qualified. 6.30, okay. <laughs> Vince, what do you think? Well, I've been actually to...